Oh, when we got back from our Christmas holidays, we had uh, quite a shock. Uh, the amount of ice that was in the mine that built up during a really cold snap over the just before Christmas. So uh, we had a number of strategies in mind, and uh, we managed to get in control of the ice that was in the mine. So we needed to get rid of all the ice because there's no way that we could run the ore car out to continue mucking the 650 level. So we had to get rid of, uh, melt all this out. There's also a pipe underneath for the last 100 feet that actually brought all the water out, but it was also frozen solid. So we had to uh, thaw the pipe out that ran underground, uh, get rid of all the snow, ice and slush in there, and uh, we were able to do it. We, uh, we got her all thawed out, so uh, next week uh, we'll be back mucking out the 650 level. We're uh, over a thousand loads now, so uh, we'll see it. Next week, back in the Yankee Boy Mine, we got some real cool stuff for you next week. Here we are back at the Yankee Boy after our little Christmas break. It was very cold before we left, down to minus 30. Today it happens to be zero Celsius. But this is what our track looks like today. We have a mess. A lot of water, whoa, holy, yeah, we have a flood. We brought a tiger torch up here today to see if we will be able to, oh this is slippery, melt this. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. looking back out <laughs> there's ice then water then another layer of ice down there whoa on top of the track it's great slippery to walk track underneath here anymore. Oh, it's ice all the way in there. This is at 150 feet in. And this is 200 and 200 feet in from the entrance and there's still this much ice whoa you just fell through it
Okay, so this is 250 feet in and the ice is just ending here. Making any progress? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I'm just about at the hole. I want to get the water. That'd be the most important thing to get the water going down oh, the hole. Oh, at the pipe? You know what I was thinking of doing that tonight? Well, I was working on the tiger torch. Uh, Sharon, Eric, and William went back and they were working on a big dam. So right at the number one shaft when I was up there a couple of weeks back, I put a whole bunch of material down there to kind of stabilize the shaft. So that caused a big dam, but all this warm water in there, we wanted to release it so that it would help to melt uh, the ice. So uh, they did that. They went up there and they shoveled it uh, all out of there, and we got the water running out of there. So then we had a, a big flush of warmer water that came down, and it really kind of helped to uh, to melt the ice. So thanks to them guys for helping us out there, and uh, we'll uh, show you what happened next. So we're hoping all this water that we flooded back here is going to whoosh down there and help us with the ice problem. Yeah. That's the end of it right there. That's much warmer water up where we undammed it. So hopefully it's gonna help down here. Doing a little ice skating out of the mine. We got through. Oh, perfect. So it's flowing down. Okay, lots of water flowing down? Yep, but it just till right at the 150, then you can't tell because there's all that big ice. But Oh, yeah, they're just going to have to keep breaking all the ice and stuff. In. Yeah, but we got it. It's swooshing out. I'm right through the hole here. I got the hole. Oh, okay. That's the hole there. It's not flowing through there yet, but thank you. Oh, it's in blue sky. Definitely more water running out of there now. Making some progress. All right, so this is our latest plan. We've got a fire going here. See if we can melt a bunch of this uh, ice by raising the temperature of the mine up. So let's we'll see if this is going to work or not. It seems to be melting it already pretty good. The rats ain't going to like this. <laughs> Got some bigger wood. We we'll make a big pile overnight with this bigger stuff. Should burn longer. It's already quite a bit warmer. And once the door's shut, there's not much smoke coming out. All the idea is that the 
air would come in this way and we'll go out the top of the mine. We're so it's morning and we're going to check and see how our defrosting has worked here. It's got a little bit of snow last night. It wasn't too cold. You can see it's kind of melted all this pretty good. The water is running down through here. From this side of the fire it's actually melted all this really well. I guess it heated up all the water coming down. Um, but it didn't go too far up. Yeah, it was hard to tell exactly how well it worked. I mean, I'm sure it didn't hurt. So uh, we have another trick up our sleeve here. So the problem we have is our pipe. Normally there's no water running in here. The pipe is frozen. So we have them to thaw the pipe out. And we did this when we were ranching years ago. And it's a real good way to, to defrost uh, frozen pipes. So we got this plastic line here in a pressure cooker. So uh, we've got steam in this pressure cooker. So maybe turn it down a little. How much heat do we really need here? Be a little hotter than we need. Gotta be careful with steam. It can be dangerous. There. The pressure's not too great. Ranch used to steam out frozen water lines like this all the time. Works pretty good. So there's still a fair bit of ice here. Um, we're probably going to have to light some more fires overnight. But from about here back, it's actually looking pretty good. So two reasons: first of all, the water's kind of warm coming down, and second of all, if you get further back, there's more ambient heat in the mine. It's not as cold back here. So even though there was a lot of ice here. It's kind of melted pretty good. So I don't think we've got to worry about this part too much. It should thaw out. It'll be all thawed out by the time we get the front part thawed out. So we don't got to worry about it too much. We shoveled uh, a little bit of ice off of there. So off the top. So that should be pretty good. We're really excited to get back into the mine and start um, once again shoveling out of the 650. A little bit of rock has fallen off here. Just from the freezing back here, because it was there's water back here, and when it freezes, and uh, causes causes the rock to fall. But it's just small rocks, so no problem. So good. The worst part of the mine is the last hundred feet or so for freezing. Back here, it's not likely to freeze unless it's really cold. So we want to get this water flow again, and then we won't have this back up again, this overflow situation. The problem is that we took off at Christmas for about five days and it was really cold so it kind of ganged up on us. Well I think I, maybe I'm going to turn to a caveman. This is pretty cool. So we got a little fire going here. Nice and cozy having a brewski. And uh, have a little propane torch here. Melting the... This is going to make the water a lot warmer to get the pipe thawed out. And if you sit pretty low, it's actually there's no, no smoke. The smoke's a little higher. Most of the smoke is going up the shaft so uh it's actually pretty nice sitting in here nice and cozy so we're hoping this fire is gonna uh heat up the water and uh, melt the pipe underneath here and then uh hopefully the water's gonna start uh, flowing out of the mine there's not much water coming out here right now I'm just trying a little bit so it was froze up there somewhere Interesting thing here is you see uh, currents going in and out of the mine, so there is no uh, smoke or nothing coming out here whatsoever. So what's happening is all the fresh air from this fire is going in here to feed that and all the air is roaring up the other parts of the mine. So that is what's going to help us uh, uh, thaw all this uh, frozen stuff out. So you know, it gets hot back here. I can't get much closer actually. So there we go. So it's a good night for the Yankee Boy mine and um, we'll get back tomorrow and hopefully a whole bunch more stuff is melted. All right, so we made pretty good progress in our uh, um, melting the ice here without fire. We had a fire here yesterday. Now we decided to move the fire further back. 
See the ice is way down from what it was. We think by tomorrow we'll be ready to start tramming again. You just have to keep your head down pretty low because uh, it's just smoky up there. They crouch right down. There's not really any smoke. Well, yeah, we're just going to stoke this up. And um, I think we should be in pretty good shape for tomorrow. I think we can just chip the rest of the ice out. Well, it looks like today's the day. I think uh, we finally got enough ice melted that we're going to be able to get the cart back there and start shoveling out the 650 again and get further into the mine. It's been really exciting coming here every day and uh, and finding more stuff and, and discovering more about this mine. It's almost like a, an onion or something. You just keep relieving, moving the layers and it goes further and further in and you find more and more stuff. So um, we'll show you um, what the ice is looking like. We're pretty sure we can get it chipped out today. Yeah, so this is where we had all these fires. So, you know, we could just take the sledgehammer and smash this out here. There's not much left here. It shouldn't take too long. Get this last little bit smashed out of here. This would be the worst part of it right here. But I think it'll break fairly easily. But well, good news, our, uh, um, our, our pipe is untrod, so the water's coming out now. So that's a big, uh, that's a big bonus. So not too much left to do. I'm pretty sure by lunchtime we should have start clearing out the, all the stuff we have sitting in the in the number one shaft. Got about ten loads to clear up. So yeah, so the cart come right to there, no problems. Just clean this side. A little bit of stuff peeled off the back from the freeze and thaw cycle. You got moisture in here and that freezes and then it gets in between the rocks and it drops the rocks. So but that's a lot. Just a little. All right, well, let's get to work and clean this up. So we just got a little bit more chipping left to do, and we're done. The Polar Express is back in business. <laughs> got a little bit of wood left in here. If it gets cold, we might just start have a little fire just right in the middle of the track there. Just to warm up the water a little bit. Luckily, first thing this morning, the water was running already. So We got the ditch cleaned out way better than it was before, so hopefully we won't have any problems. Part of our problem is the ice built up between the tracks. Because um, it's pretty hard. It's all hard calcite right there. It's hard to get any deeper there. But anyways, that's pretty good. Oh, there we go, we're ice free. Well, more or less. The Polar Express made it. <laughs> Pushed her through. So, hey, let's go have some lunch. Then we can start clearing up the number one shaft. Got maybe 10 loads left there. And then back to muck in the number two shaft. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.